Hey Zesties, I'm Shame and welcome or welcome back to my channel Zesty Girl. This is the haul from Costco and this the total was just under $400. So I got a lot of meat today so let's have a look what I got. I'm actually going to, I was going to do it, I might just do a separate really short video where I'll open this up because I can't do it right now because I haven't got freezer bags. But I'll do a separate video where I open the lamb up and show you exactly what you get for uh, how much was it? $126 worth of lamb because it's such a great value pack. So I'll do that on another video. And yeah, but let's have a look at what I got today. Okay, so we got some pizza bases. They were in the bread section. There is two twin packs here. So I got those. The mints, which I was worried about last time, when I first tried this mince, it was really bad. It was so fatty. I was like, I'm never buying this again. Great price at $9.99 a kilo, but I will never buy it again. But uh, I did try it again last week because some people, other people had been saying it was really, really good. And I trust the, I trust you guys' opinion. So I did grab it again and it was fantastic. So just goes to show that sometimes you can just have a bad experience, but you should probably try again. Um, yeah, so I'm glad I did. So that's the mince. I need it for meal prep this week. I got the cheaper chicken this week to try it. I normally always get free range. I couldn't get what I wanted today, so I grabbed this for chicken thighs. So that is how many? Uh, $9.99 a kilo. This is $9.99 a kilo, so same price. The, the ham that's just changed its packaging is that. I got that. These I've never had before. These are chicken Marylands done in a Japanese sauce. I just thought that they would feed my I just thought that, that would feed my whole family so we could have a family dinner. Roast potatoes, broccoli, be lovely. This is a nice healthy product, no nasties, that I have purchased before. And it does have a bit of that packet taste to be honest, but there's six packs in here. They you heat and serve them 90 seconds in the microwave, gluten-free, a lovely buttered chicken. I just thought that I would get these to have on hand in my pantry just for those moments. So I'm really excited to see this product again. I'm going to have one shortly just so I can see if I want to actually purchase any more before they go out of stock again. They seem to be like a once a year type item. Bananas, if you saw my other, <laughs> if you saw my shop with me video, you would have seen I went to quite an effort to get these yellow bananas. So if you haven't seen that video, I'll link it up above. And, and it was a really big shop with me too. I had a lot of fun. I thought I was having fun, then I didn't think I was having fun, but but it's been a big week, so I think I really just needed some time out. Superfood stir fry, yum, we love this one. It is a bit expensive at $4.99 for the size of it, but never mind, it's a good product. Uh, spinach, that's a big bag for $5 as well. Baby cucumbers, baby tomatoes, you know I get these whenever I can, so that's pretty standard. I normally buy two lots, but I've just reduced it, trying to mix things up a bit. These mini breakfast sausages for breakfast prep, a new product. I've never tried these before, and I'm really keen to get some breakfast prep done and get these babies in there. Two lots of rye bread, dark rye. I got this one for the first time last week and loved it, so I've repeated that. Two cooked chickens to do my usual chicken magic with. 35 dishes is always my goal to make, 35 servings I should say, is always my goal to make out of these two chickens. So I've got some really good ideas today. I'm thinking chicken nachos. I'm thinking, what else was I thinking? I was thinking of doing a creamy chicken pasta. I just try and keep doing different things. You guys come up with a few ideas, so I'll review what you guys said in the comments on my last video when I asked you guys. So. I'll have a look and, and see what you guys said. The lamb pack. It's the best. There's two roasts in here. There's lamb cutlets in here. There's the four quarter chops. There's the, um, what are they called? The, the loin chops. I think that's what they're called. And other stuff. Other stuff underneath. So I will show you. I will unpackage that and show you. Tomatoes. I thought that was a nice little pint of tomatoes. Gluten-free bread, gluten-free rolls, the Pink Lady, massive Pink Lady apples, great value. 
I bought these again. I wasn't going to. I've been really doing my meal prep within the glass Pyrex type dishes that I got from Kmart. But I just really love the how these stack in the freezer. So I'm going to do, be doing a massive meal prep. So I invested in these again. Toilet paper. On my Shop With Me video, I tell you the two types of toilet paper that were at Costco this week. Neither were the Kirklands I normally get. There was one called Torch, I think it was, and the Quilton. Uh, I've given you a summary of how many sheets and, that's, and the prices and that sort of thing. So, um, yeah, the, that video is linked down in the description below. What else? The fruits. School holidays, so the boys like to have a bit of cereal in the school holidays, so these little fruit cups are great to add to that for mostly an afternoon snack. So that's really great. Did I tell you about the green onion crackers on special? If you haven't tried these, these are amazing. They are the best value. They are just totally great value. So uh, when I do the lamb, I'll open these up and show you exactly what you get and how yummy they are. Okay, so let me share with you the green onion crackers. This is the box. There's nine individual packs in here, and what that means is like this. So just unpack them. Nine of these. And then when you open these up, this is what you get. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen would there be? One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's thirteen in there. Unusual number, but anyway. And let me show you one. Can you smell it? <laughs> it's a bit like chives. It smells a bit, it tastes a bit like chives. And we can do so many things with these, but the boys just tend to grab a packet and sit in front of the TV and just eat them plain. Not those in the family that are gluten free though, obviously. So that's that, that's that, that, dun, 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 dun. And it's everything. I do believe. Okay, so thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you here. And I look forward to seeing you on the next video. See ya. Bye.